Greetings, fellow traveler. I want to remind you that it's okay to honor the seemingly negative actions that people have towards you. What do I mean by that? The other day, the other morning, I was walking on the trail, came across a small snake. Now, it's about that season around here, so I wasn't too surprised, but it caught me off guard. I'm like, oh, okay, there's a snake. I'll just walk over you. 30 feet later, I see the biggest snake I've ever seen on that trail. It went to probably about 15 inches, 18 inches, something like that. Had some girth to it. That thing could move. Like, it was sitting still. I was sitting still. Anyway, I see it. I'm startled, but I keep walking. I maneuver, step of, you know, a pace or two over to the right, get out of this way, just stay out of my way. And I walked around it. And I had me thinking about that as far as life. See, there's some people around you, and you know, we can call them snakes because of the manners and behavior that they have. But in honoring the actions that they have towards you, it's not saying that you're scared of them. It's simply saying, I know what you're capable of. And because I know what you're capable of, I'm going to protect myself and distance myself. There's a lot of power in that. See, and I don't know if you're a male. I don't know if you're a female. It doesn't matter. But sometimes that could play a role in how we choose to interact with people or animals. When it comes to snakes, some people get scared. And they're frightened. And they show that on the outside and the exterior with their emotional state. They scream or they jump or they cause a scene. But when that snake is a person, we don't have the same reaction so often. It's almost like we're numb to it. I don't know, this may be too abstract for some of y'all. It's absolutely fine, no judgment. I'm simply saying the same way that we come across animals and we honor some of the traits that they have, whether it be the dog in the neighborhood that's never on a leash, whether it be the cat that's feisty and doesn't really entertain too many people trying to reach out and pet it, whether it be a frog that's by the creek that runs every time somebody walks by on the trail. When we give honor to these animals, we must remember that when we see the same attributes that animals have in people, we must maneuver the same way. If you're around somebody and you know they're a snake or they maneuver like a snake, honor that and handle them like you would a snake. Stay out their way. If you like collecting snakes, you found you a new partner. Cool. But honor that. If you come across a dog that's always vicious, let that dog be. Unless you into that. <laughs> now, if you into that, go acquire it. No problem. Simply saying, be mindful of these traits and people and give it, give it the proper respect. Meaning, when you give it the proper respect, you're giving yourself a reality check of what you're really dealing with and who you're really dealing with. In some situations, that could be life or death. In this world that we live in, we come across so many different people, especially in the digital age and the whole nine. People can really get to you from afar. That's why really protecting yourself, your energy, honoring your peace, that's a big thing. It's a real big thing. Because there's always going to be the snakes. There's always going to be the pack of wolves around or the hyenas or whoever's coming around. There's always going to be a creature that's bigger or smaller seemingly than you when it comes to certain habits. That's okay. I'm not telling you to go out and rule the wilderness. I'm telling you to remind yourself that you are in the wilderness. So when you see these traits, act accordingly. Point blank period. With that said, hope this resonates with at least one of you. Until next time, be blessed, and please don't forget to smile.